So we just got a brand new camera and we're experimenting with a new format. We're working in the shop today packaging up orders because I am the engineer at Rogue Fabrication. I'm testing one of our newer developments. Obviously this is a kind of bender with a mandrel attachment and I've been experimenting moving the mandrel further forward and seeing what impact it has on bend quality. Obviously the mandrels hold the tubing open while it's being bent and the further forward you are up to a certain point the better the bend quality gets. So, we're going to be shooting these updates probably once every week or two weeks, just to kind of show you guys what we're working on in the shop. Sometimes it'll be really boring, but uh, today we're going to mantle bending, which is pretty interesting. So I've already measured these two, and we got 4.3% uh, deformation and 3.2% deformation, and uh, let's see what we get. Move the metal forward another eighth of an inch or so. You're on camera. You can be, it's fine. <laughs> You're not that pretty, Mike. Nobody's going to know who you are. I got a charge for that. There's a uh, live weekly kind of shop happenings video. So. so we're pulling the mando rod out. This material has what we call radial spring nut. prevents it from being removable until it's allowed to spring off of the die and the metal rod gets in the way. how lightweight this material is. This is inch and three quarter 065 stainless and what we're getting right now is this little teeny bump at the beginning of the bend. It's pretty typical on non viper die equipped mandel benders. And then another one here. And this one got worse. That's an indication we've moved the mandel too far forward. So I'm also going to check our bend quality out. Bend quality actually got noticeably better. We got 1.720. I'm measuring the, what would be the flat spots on the bend. So, I'll show you guys how to calculate that live. 1.72 minus 1.75, we get 0 0.03 for the difference. That's how much diameter the tubing we lost. Divide that by the nominal diameter. 0 0.017, so 1.7% is the amount of deformation on that bend. This is pretty typical header material for really high performance force induction applications. So normally you'd be cutting this off and using this as part of a header. And the nice thing here is this material is about $2.30 a foot delivered for stainless. And this J band would probably be worth, if it was a tighter radius, I don't know, $45 or $50. So you do the math. This is a couple dollars in material making a pretty expensive band with a pretty affordable machine. So that's pretty cool. Well, that's about all we have for an update for this week. I uh, hope you guys tune in every week, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check the box for allowing updates or notifications. That's gonna allow us, Rug Fabrication, our channel, to tell you when we have new content. And uh, we're gonna keep doing interesting stuff, including some of this candid, kind of off-the-cuff shop update kind of video. So leave us a comment, let us know what you thought. Thank you.